grand mistress, distinguished guests, bandsmen, sisters, brethren, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the County Grand Lodge of Glasgow Executive, I bid each and every one of you a warm welcome to our Boyne service here today in George Square. <coughs> On the 6th of June 1944, and during the long summer that followed, men from all over the world came to fight in Normandy to defeat Nazism and re-establish freedom. The D-Day landings in 1944 were the biggest invasion by sea in history. It's a key date in the story of World War II. It happened on the 6th of June 1944, after five years of war when a massive military force set out from the UK towards France. The Allied forces landed on the beaches of Normandy in France and started to break through the German army's defences. By the end of D-Day, the Allies had put 156,000 troops ashore. And they began an attack that lasted for 11 months and took them all the way to the German capital in Berlin and onward to eventual victory. Normandy will bear the scars of this moment in history forever and every year we remember and pay tribute to the veterans from Britain, America, Canada, Belgium, Denmark, Holland, Poland and Australia along with their brothers in arms, those many, many heroes who lost their lives during that summer of 1944. So today we celebrate the 75th anniversary of D-Day and the Battle of Normandy with due splendour, emotion and reverence. We remember their outstanding valour and heroism, their pride in fighting for king and country and giving their today for our tomorrow so we could be free. The nations of the world owe these brave young boys and men a massive debt of gratitude lest we forget. Not only do we commemorate the heroics of our brave armed forces, but we also celebrate Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth's reign, who has ruled for longer than any other monarch in British history. Years of dedicated service to her nation, throughout which her main pillar of strength has been her Christian faith. I'm quite sure you join with me in wishing our longest serving monarch all best wishes. Long may she reign. So let's hope the weather keeps up. It's a lovely morning. And I'll leave you with best wishes from the County Executive and in particular to all our guests who have travelled from all over the world to join in our celebrations here today. And I'll now hand you over to our County Grand Secretary, the Brother Reverend Jason McGuire, to conduct our service. Thank you. Right to the County Grand Master, Grand Mistress, distinguished guests and members of the public here, it's good to be able to come and to worship God and to give thanks for his goodness over so many years. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. We meet here today to glorify God as revealed in the Lord Jesus Christ, whose power sustains the world, to commend with thanksgiving those who lived and died in the service of our country and to ask for God's blessing and help that we may be worthy of their sacrifice each day of our lives. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us begin our worship together by singing the first verse of Abide With Me, Abide With Me.
thanks also to the Black Skull Band for coming us this morning. I'm very grateful for that because I almost had somebody do a solo there on a Bible me, so it should not be welcomed at all. Let's come together in prayer. Let's pray together. Most gracious God, the Father of all mercies, we offer you thanks for the bounty of your providence and the renewing liberty of your grace. We rejoice at the things that you give to us, the inheritance of holy things and the freedom and peace in which we live in. Especially on this morning, we give you thanks for the remembrance we are privileged to make of those who have been along us in our way, those who have given in the time of war, whose names are written here, the sacrifice for many and for freedom in our nation. We remember too all the war memorials up and down this country and in the Commonwealth where many have paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms today. Lord, you are the God of truth and justice. We hold before you the men and women who have died in active service. And in modern times we remember too those who continue to serve and those who have paid that sacrifice. We remember as an Orange family here today, those in our institution who have fallen, those who have served, and those who are serving right at this very moment. As we honour their courage, we cherish their memory. Many we be able to put your, our faith in your future. We recall that you are the source of life and hope the one who can bring justice and truth, the one who endures for all times, and the one who will bring your kingdom upon this earth. We remember especially the most important act of remembrance of all, the greatest sacrifice of all, the one who conquered death, the Prince of Peace, the Lord Jesus Christ, who came to be with us as our friend, as our companion, but our Saviour and our God. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us remember the kindness of God and his favour towards us in time of need. Let us remember the courage, the devotion to duty, the self-sacrifice of the men and women in our armed forces, the toil, the endurance of suffering, of those who are not in uniform, the support of those who sent us help from afar or came and stood at our side. Let us remember those who are wounded in the flight, those who perish in air raids at home, those who fell in battle and are buried at sea or at some corner of a foreign field, and especially those whom we have known and loved those in our families, those in our lodges, our friends, our ancestors, whose place is forever in our hearts. Let us remember too those who are our enemies, those on the other side, whose homes and hearts are as heft as ours, whose dead also lie in a living tomb of everlasting remembrance. Let us remember those who came back, those who life still spare the scars of war, those who lost sight or limbs or reason, those who lost faith in God and hope in their fellow man. Let us remember those at home, anxious to hear of loved ones and still working in a nation at war. Let us remember those in our institution and those who are known to us who suffered and still suffer today. Let us remember those who perished and those whose lives were altered but never again will we see such slaughter. Let us remember those who are still serving today who give us the liberty to meet here this morning and to remember. Let us remember the continuing grace of God, whose love for mankind brought him to surrender in Christ to death for us, 
as atonement for the sins of mankind. Let us remember. We will now hear the last post. <laughs> When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today.
let us pray. Remember, O Lord, all those who have died in the death of honour and are departed in the hope of resurrection to eternal life, especially the officers, men and women of our sea, land and air forces, to whom it was given to lay down their lives for the cause of freedom and justice. In that place of light, when sorrow and mourning are far vanished, give them rest. O Lord, the lover of man, grant this to thine only Son, for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. We further pray together in the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let us conclude our service together by singing the last verse of Abide in Me, Hold Thou Thy Cross Before My Closing Eyes. The last verse of Abide with Me. this opportunity once again to thank you for your attendance here today sisters brothers and friends it's been good to come and remember God's goodness towards us even his providence today and being able to stay dry and without much background noise in the traffic shows God's testament towards being able to remember and to honor and worship him let us conclude our worship today with the benediction and two verses of a national anthem. God grant to the living grace the departed rest, to the church, the queen and the commonwealth, peace and concord, and to us and to all his servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, with us this day and forevermore. Amen.
Thank you. The right worthy County Grandmaster, distinguished guests, colour party, and the Black Skull Band will be departing at 10.45 sharp this morning. Thank you again.